Okay, so we got the lifters out of the second Pontiac engine that we tested that failed, uh, bleeding down. And come a little closer here, look at this. This is out of number one um, exhaust, this is number one exhaust lifter. And I hope you can see this. It's not even, it's collapsed already. It has literally collapsed. If you can see this, this is junk. I'm gonna compare it. I bought a set of new Howard's, uh, this part number 1021 for you Pontiac folks. Larry, I thought I bought Crower, but I don't think they were available. So I found the Howard's. They were twice the amount of what the comps were. But if you look at these new Howard's, they look similar, they look the same. I'm hoping they have better valve mechanism inside. This is what it should look like. If you look and you see, you see where the, it's all the way up to the retainer. This is collapsed and it's, it's a failure waiting to happen. This thing's probably one begging to come apart in the engine. This is what you saw when I did the compression test and my compression tester was bouncing all over the place. This, so what, here's what happens. Now, guess who gets to eat the cost of this? I, I get to eat the cost of this. I, I, the builders get to eat. You can't pass this on to the customer. It's not their fault. You know, they, they paid for that. So this goes on to the, to the engine builder. The engine builder has to pay for this. And this is what really pisses people off when you have horrible, bad quality going into these builds because not only do they cost me another set of lifters that are twice the price because I don't want to play intake games of going, I, I'm, I don't need any practice putting intake manifolds on, on any brand of car. But now I had to buy gaskets, I had to buy a few other things to seal this thing back up. And it's also time and labor. Now I have to go back in and, and prime the system, set all the valves to make sure that everything's good. So this is the second batch of lifters just on a different make of engine. It, it does not matter what brand of engine it is. This is happening across GM, Ford, Chrysler, probably AMC, um, probably other brands too. So again, uh, playing the, the, the failed lifter game, I'm getting really aggravated by this. So just thought I'd share everybody. Have a good day.